Hi viewers, in today's video I am going to explain about IC production process. So before going to know about the fabrication process, first of all we have to know what is an integrated circuit. So in the name of uh, the integrated circuit itself it gives the information that uh, the integrating of different number of components that are interconnected which are forming a circuit. That means an integrated circuit is a set of electronic circuits mounted on a small electronic chip. We may simply say that an integrated circuit is a set of all active on some of passive components that are fabricated on a single silicon strip. This is the uh, best definition for an integrated circuit. Here all of you know what is an active component and what is a passive component. The diodes and the transistors are called as active components because they are performing some operations or modifications in the signals and also they are capable of generating the signals or creating the signals. But coming to the resistor, capacitor and inductor, these three components are called as passive components because they can't do any modification or any creation in the signals. What is the duty of a resistor? Simply it is retarding the current flow. And what is the duty of a capacitor? Uh, it stores the charged particles that is charging and discharging. The electrical energy it is storing. And coming to the inductor, it stores magnetic energy. So these three components are simply called as in passive components. Now the inductor cannot be fabricated in an integrated circuit with relevant to the resistors and capacitors because it stores the magnetic energy instead of electrical energy. That's why inductors cannot be fabricated on IC strips. The most preferred materials for the fabrication are silicon and germanium. Coming to the fabrication process, fabrication process is uh, the development of the component in a such a manner by, fo um, by following a certain number of methods or steps. Here the fabrication process includes 8 steps, wafer preparation, oxidation, diffusion, ion implantation, CVD process, photolithography, metallization and packaging. These 8 steps are very important. We have to follow in an order to complete an integrated circuit. Coming to the first step, the wafer preparation. The wafer preparation is the first step for an integrated circuit fabrication. Here the wafer is a thin pure silicon crystal material used for making various ICs and transistors. So we are letting a wafer of silicon, it is completely pure, very pure. In that, uh, if you want to use a substrate as a type of N-type or P-type, then we have to uh, diffuse some impurities into that substrate. So if you want to diffuse N-type of materials, you have to use pentavalent elements. If you want to uh, get a P-type substrate, then you have to place uh, trivalent impurities into the substrate. This wafer preparation involves the cutting, shaping and polishing the wafer material to make it as suitable for further fabrication methods. And the second step we have is an oxidation. Here the oxidation process is simply the reacting an oxygen that oxygen may be available in the form of a gas or a steam with a silicon to form the silicon dioxide material. Why we have to place this uh, silicon dioxide material uh, means the substrate which has a full of impurities has to be protected. For that protection, the entire surface of the substrate we have to place an dielectric material that is silicon dioxide layer. The oxidation is carried out at a high temperature of 1250 degrees Celsius. Here this oxidation is available in terms of two ways either as in wet oxidation and dry oxidation. Where wet oxidation means we have to react oxygen in the form of a steam with silicon dioxide. Si plus 2H2O gives as SiO2 plus 2H2. And coming to the dry oxidation, it has a good electrical properties. The oxygen gas is directly reacting with the silicon to form the silicon dioxide layer. So Si plus O2 which is gives as SiO2 layer. This oxidation is the second step that is very very important which may be used for the protection of the substrate. 
and now coming to the third step which is called as a diffusion experiments that means a diffusion is a process of adding impurities or atoms from a high concentration region to the low concentration region here if you observe the picture or image here i am taking a p substrate into that p substrate the full of p impurities we are having huge amount of p impurities into that p impurities i have to deposit a less number of n type of impurities that's why a here a high concentration region is a p type we have to place a low concentration of an electrons or n types so this diffusion process is simply the adding of impurities from high concentration region to the low concentration region the process of diffusion is highly dependent on the temperature it is carried out in between 1000 degrees celsius and 1200 degrees celsius the high doping concentration improves the conductivity of metal the dopants can be of uh, any type that may be available in terms of solids or liquids or gas the preferred dopants for the n type uh, all of you know uh, pentavalent elements we may use and for a p type we are using a trivalent impurities the pentavalent impurities are uh, antimony phosphorus uh, arsen all those etc and for the p type uh, trivalent impurities are gallium indium boron etc we are using so most preferably phosphorus is used for the n type materials and boron is used for the p type material and coming to the next step of ic fabrication process is ion implantation here this ion implantation method is also similar to the diffusion whereas in the diffusion high concentration region to the low concentration region you are depositing but here the in the ion implantation we are accelerating the ions from the element to a solid target so uh, a target is fixed there to that we are padding a number of ions by sending forcibly uh, by creating some acceleration to that so when they are colliding uh, with the solid they are padding with that uh, solid target the process is generally used when an accurate amount of impurities or atoms are necessary to add to the device the ions are applied at a low temperature which may be near to the room temperature and within high energy if you are uh, applying an excess amount of energy that may also damage your uh, crystal structure of the solid so depending upon your requirement you have to apply the energy and coming to the next one chemical vapor deposition it is simply called as a cvd process here it is used to produce the high quality solid materials that means it is a process of creating or generating or developing the solid materials the process is carried out at a pressure below the atmospheric pressure it produces thin films of the semiconductor industry it chemicals and vapors react to form the solids on the surface of the substrate the protective layers on the substrate such as silicon dioxide polysilicon silicon nitrate all are deposited using a cvd process and next one uh, we, that is very very important step is photolithography the photolithography is commonly used for the fabrication of uh, these integrated circuits which has the involvement of microprocessors and solid state devices all those this process uses a light to produce the thin films to pattern on the substrate such as silicon wafers here an ultraviolet light or x rays or extreme uv rays are used to introduce the mask patterns on the uh, silicon wafer uh, here depending upon the material which we are using that may be either photolithography we may apply for the negative uh, material or positive material that is depending upon uh, their material properties they may become as a soluble or insoluble when they are exposed towards the uv rays here the photolithography is mainly used to develop a photoresistive layers on the substrate to maintain high resistivity here we are having the two type of photoresistive layers that uh, that are negative or positive here i am showing in the picture so the light is 
uh, exposed towards the substrate now that is covered with uh, two masks when uh, you are taking the material photoresistive material as a negative then whatever the area that is exposed towards the light source will become as hardened and remaining which are covered with the mask these two areas are removed in the negative resist and coming to the positive resist which are exposed towards uv rays will become as soluble so that is the difference we are having in the negative and positive photoresist materials depending upon your requirement we are using that and coming to the next step that is called metallization here this step is very important to develop a ports or pins which may indicate drain source and gate terminals in the mosfets so metallization is defined as it is the process of coating a metal layer on the metallic surface or non metallic surface the coating can be used uh, aluminum zinc or silver most probably we are preferring the use of aluminum metallization is also used to interconnect various components that form an integrated circuit so what are the different uh, semiconductor components we are placed on a single silicon crystal they all those has to be connect uh, with the aluminum metals for that we are using a metallization process and coming to final step of ic fabrication process is called as packaging packaging is the last stage of an uh, ic fabrication process here uh, the finished silicon wafers are chips of various sizes with a number of small components are are uh, sent to test whether it is electrically doing or working properly or not if whatever the components are integrated circuits that were not reaches to our requirement they all should be separated from the good circuits and they are sent for verification and which are the circuits are good in their operation they will be sent for the packaging now the package is finally sealed with an epoxy or a plastic to prevent it from the atmospheric dust so packaging is also very very important thing as a final step in the ic production process so i think all of you understood very clearly if you are having any doubt please comment in the comment section thank you for watching